Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Legends ZA. We have some new potential rumours to take a look at and also some other things to break down and go over as well. There's a lot of stuff to get into today so if you're excited for the video as always make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that that you enjoy. So starting things off we have this post here from Riddler Koo and again take it with a grain of salt because his track record is a little bit shaky as of late but he did post this here so this isn't really like a rumor or anything this is this sort of like text that seems to be popping up in multiple different places we covered it in a video recently where a phrase was kind of popping up in different locations and it could have been linked to like the evil team and stuff like that um, but we actually have another phrase here that's also popped up in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So uh, this is obviously from the Legends ZA trailer where we had this phrase, you have the little like Quasar symbol in the top right, confidential and whatever. And then if you actually go to this location in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the exact same kind of text is also on this sort of like stone thing here. So I, I, I personally don't think it's coincidental. I don't think that these phrases are popping up in these different places like randomly. I think they're putting them there per, like on purpose. Um, as well as that, that the person next to this says apparently all five of these buildings are owned by a real estate firm called Paldea uh, Realty. So that could be a little bit of a hint towards, you know, Lumios having like five different sections or five different kind of like important locations or something like that because if you do actually go to the the legend za kind of circle it is split up into like multiple different parts so it could be something to do with that like this could just be like a massive coincidence but apparently talking about like five these buildings and stuff and as well if, if it is set in the future you know uh pokemon legend za like there's no guarantee it's set in the past if it is set in the future maybe this paldea realty is is the kind of company behind this redevelopment plan for lumio city maybe this uh redevelopment plan is going to be popping up in a lot more different locations and they helped kind of develop like new areas and stuff because it does say redevelopment of um kind of lumio city it doesn't say like the development of it i feel like if it said the development of lumio city it would have been in the past but the fact that they're redeveloping it means that it's been developed already and now they're redeveloping it again so i personally think it's going to be set in both the past and the future but i think the redevelopment part is going to be for the future so i think it's going to take like 50 years or 100 years in the future and it's going to be redeveloping the city or something like that the other interesting thing here and i, I don't know if i take too much into to this but we do have uh riddler Koo taking these pictures with a chestnut in the image and it's a shiny chestnut so i don't know if he's there saying like oh this is going to be one of the starters for pokemon legend za or, or anything like that i don't know if he knows what the star pokemon are going to be but it's just quite interesting that for these images he, he's chosen a chestnut so if if this is in fact one of the starters then it could mean that the generation six pokemon are going to be the starters and they are the pokemon that are probably going to get like a new form or a mega evolution or something like that it also makes sense if it was set in the future as to why they are getting mega evolutions as well if it is the gen six starters because maybe their mega stones have been found like later on down the line and they weren't found in the base game of x and y I don't know. I wouldn't like read too much into that. It's just interesting that he chose Chestnut out of all these Pokemon. Maybe it's just because it's a Generation 6 Pokemon. Who knows? Uh, he also posted these images as well. Um, I don't know if I would really take these into consideration too, but it's the same phrase kind of popping up in like different locations and different games as well. Like it's in Sword and Shield. It's in Paldea. It's now apparently in Pokemon Legends ZA. And we also have Poke Experto talking about this as well, saying another of the phrases in Pokemon writing from the Pokemon ZA Legends trailer has been found on one of the uh, city posters in Paldea. And then goes on to say several more images seem to indicate that Game Freak repeats the same phrases in Pokemon writing in different contexts, such as a cafe menu, train stations, or buildings. It seems reasonable to think that they uh, hide no meaning beyond Game Freak's laziness. But I don't know, I, th th they are no stranger to putting like little Easter eggs and hints and stuff in, in games before this. So I don't personally think that that is going to be like any reason as to like completely disregard it you know i think it's very interesting that this is just popping up in lo like these different locations but we'll have to wait and see but this is obviously what riddler Koo posted again take it with a grain of salt it could be something it could be nothing but let me know your thoughts on uh, all of that as well moving on we have some more legend za kind of rumors and theories to take a look at this was posted by soul silver art saying in the first pokemon legends arceus trailer we saw three books related to the stories slash pokedexes of the game and again when we originally saw this for legends arceus everyone was like okay there's three books there that means there's going to be three legends games and that could very well be 
the situation. You know, we had Legends Arceus, we're now getting Pokemon Legends EA, and then we might get another Legends game, which could be the third and final book of this kind of like stack here. But now that we know that Legends is a series, could Game Freak originally have planned for this to be a three part series? Each book is a new game entry in the Legends series. I mean, one of the books is green, like the colors of Zygarde. So yeah, we have the Legends Arceus book at the top. The green one would be Legends ZA because obviously it's Zygarde. And then the next color is like, I can't really make it. It's like a purplish kind of color. Um, so I don't really know what purple kind of legendary I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but I mean, it could even be like for a very much futuristic one. It could be like a Gen 10 Legends game or something. You never really know. Uh, it could also be for Gen 8 as well because obviously we've had Gen 4. We've then now got Gen 6. Maybe they're just doing like dodging, like do it, dodging a gen and then doing like even number gens or something. So it could be Generation 2 or it could be Generation 8 or something like that. Um, it, it makes sense to be a Legends Johto game as well, especially with time travel with Celebi. So if it was either Gen 8 or Gen 2, I would much rather expect to see a Generation 2 one. So that's obviously very, very interesting. Uh, moving on, we also have this to quickly go over as well. So. Big shout out to Soul Silver off for kind of uh, finding this out as well, but saying, has anyone listened to the sound design of the Legends ZA title reveal? Turn sound on. So Legends has a Hisui slash old Japanese sound effect. The Z maybe sounds like something shooting. The dash is an insane robot slash future sound. Also, a static sound begins in the background. The A is a pure clean sound. And finally, the static sound gets plunder and lasts the longest and then eventually fades out. Also, I left the transition screen in this video to show what looking like old time uh, film deteriorating or ending with a Zygarde green color. I think this is all totally intentional and probably will mean a lot in the hindsight. All I can think about is going from the past to the future or vice versa, especially because of the Legends title being an old Japanese sound, but also that dash sound is wild. Or maybe this all has to do with firing the ultimate weapon. With the static mimicking the fallout of a weapon's destruction. Or maybe it's Zygarde using its signature move. Maybe you have better ideas, share them below and stuff. So, yeah, I think this also adds fuel to the fire that this is going to be based in both the past and the future. You know, there's a lot of hints regarding that. And I think, that, you know, the, the, the fact that they've used this sound in the way. So, like, this sound here is just, like, the old prehistoric kind of legend sound. And now this, like, Z, like, slash, uh, and, and the, the dash sound is very futuristic again I, i've always thought that it's going to be in the past and the future and i think this just yeah adds more to that really um so that's that uh moving on we also have uh this therapy update quickly to go over as well it's a, a new mystery gift that has been um kind of uh, just announced I guess we, we don't have it yet but it's going to be for next month so we have Cerebi here tweeting out uh, saying Cerebi update a new distribution has been announced again Iron Hands based on Marco Silva's Iron Hands during the European International Championship stream next month and this is actually a decent month to have as well it's very very good for raids so Again, as soon as this is available, I'm assuming in April, um, we'll, we'll let you guys know the code and stuff. But yeah, this is definitely something to redeem if you do want a really good raid, Mon. Uh, but yeah, obviously keep your eyes out for that, but we'll let you know about this uh, when it does drop. Uh, moving on, though, we do actually have some big news regarding the anime and good old Ashy Boy as well. Uh, so we have Go Nintendo Tweet here tweeting out saying, Pokemon Company says that they've said farewell to Ash, but anything is possible. So obviously with Ash, um, you know, been the protagonist for... 20 odd years and you know everybody grew up with him stuff like that and this is the first time he's not been like the protagonist of the pokemon anime you know he's been in movies and stuff like that um and we thought that you know potentially generation 9 would be like about Lyco and stuff and then when generation 10 rolls around maybe ash just comes back and is the main protagonist again but that might not be the case it's looking less and less likely that ash is actually going to make an appearance in the anime again so pokemon company says they've said farewell to ash but anything is possible so gone but not forgotten so the pokemon community was rocked in 2023 when it was announced that the long-running pokemon anime was going to end as we knew it while the animated series was going to get a complete reboot with fresh characters and adventures our time with ash and all of his powers was coming to a close pokemon horizons the series is the brand new pokemon anime and it finally aired uh, finally started airing in north america last week we've been introduced to a whole new cast but that doesn't mean we've forgotten ash and all he encountered with the new series set for years to come, many are wondering if there's any room left for Ash to return. While nothing is concrete, it does seem there is a very slim chance. So Variety had the chance to speak with Pokemon Company International uh, executives Andy and Taito, and were both. Uh, while both seem to take the stance of Ash's time being wrapped up, there's a bit of wiggle room as the franchise rolls on. So Ghost here said, we've said farewell, Ash is still in the world, anything is possible. I suppose in the world of Pokemon, there's many possibilities. So Ash still is in the world of Pokemon, you know, but 
They've said farewell, but anything is possible. And then we hope Ash and Pikachu continue in their journey. Their journey is ongoing somewhere in the Pokemon world. It's totally up to our fans' imagination. For the time being, we would love to focus on the new story of the Lyco and Roy. Horizons invites a new beginning. So, it is quite sad. Like, I'm really hoping that they make a movie about Ash again or something like that. Because we do have alternate timelines. Like, the I Choose You movie and the, the Power of One movie, or whatever it's called, uh, with like... Uh, was it was it Zero Aura or whatever and like Zerud and stuff and like there's been these movies where Ash is in like a different timeline um so we could always get a movie with with that Ash but in terms of like Ash Ketchum the protagonist of the movies for as long as we've known it's not looking likely that we are going to see it. but anything is possible anything is possible but yeah it might not be for uh for a while now which is relatively unfortunate so with that all out of the way we're going to be going over a, a rumor today for Pokemon Legends Z8 as well finishing off today's video again this was posted on 4chan so take it with a, a massive grain of salt uh because again most of the time these do turn out to be fake but you never know sometimes a real one does kind of slip through the cracks but anyway this was posted on the 14th of March it was posted by Anonymous uh, and it just says, you know, it's not got a title. So it says, set roughly 100 years before the modern game. So again, this kind of goes against the whole idea of it being futuristic and stuff like that. Which again, it could be set before X and Y. It could be set in the future of X and Y. We just don't know. The only reason we expect it to be in the past is just simply because Legends Arceus was. But Legends, you know, going forward could be just from a different time period altogether. Which I think would be much better, being able to unlock like different time periods. Um, of, of like these different regions and stuff because they could really just do anything and they could just Develop like new Pokemon evolutions and mega evolutions and stuff like that uh, Player is a foreigner from Kanto who's been hired by Team Flare to help redesign Lumios Which is uh, at the time outdated and decaying so uh, we are apparently being hired by Team Flare Which of course is the evil team uh, you start within the lowest ranks of Team Flare, helping out with grunt work and slowly climbing your way up the ranks until you get to the Architect role. And a lot of people might think this is, like, weird, but if you think about it, in Legends Arceus, that's kind of what we was doing. It was part of, like, the Expedition Team or whatever, and we was just kind of creating the Pokedex and, like, adapting Pokedex by catching all these different Pokemon. That's what we were doing. We weren't going around and, like, beating gym leaders and stuff like that, you know. The, the whole point of Legends is it's just an adaptation of the Pokemon games, and it's completely different in terms of storyline and stuff. Um, then they go on to say, Pokemon do attack you like in Pokemon Legends Arceus and can even damage buildings. So that would be a bit annoying. Imagine if you just built this sky uh, this massive skyscraper, you spent all your money on it, um, and, and you, you know it's taken you ages to do it to get the materials and everything, and then like, I don't know, just Zygarde comes in and just destroys it. Imagine how pissed you'd be. Uh, I'd actually like the idea though, where you have to kind of defend your buildings and stuff from wild Pokemon. That would be really cool. If the loop of Arceus was gather slash craft slash catch, uh, the loop of Legend ZA is gather slash build slash catch, as making progress on the city will attract more Pokemon. I really like that idea as well. And it kind of makes sense, like, the whole idea of Legend ZA is to redevelop the city to make it peaceful for Pokemon and humans. So maybe when you, like, maybe you have, like, different levels of the city. So, like, level one, you got, like, your beer minimum, you got a couple of, like, tragic pokemon that are just popping up um and then like as soon as you hit like level two city you get a bit more better pokemon level three city more pokemon that'd be a really cool way for them to introduce more pokemon into the game as well uh, and then it goes on to say battle system is a refined uh version of zas uh with styles being replaced by move combos so i don't know if that means that like um whatever the, what are they called uh the the kind of agile style and the strong style and stuff like that are going to be in the game or they're just going to completely change it uh, then goes on to say, Pokemon Legends Arceus Thunderbolt Agile Style equals Legend ZA Thunderbolt plus Swift or Thunderbolt plus Quick Attack. So, I guess, yeah, so move combos would be... Okay, so I understand that. So Swift and Quick Attack would, see, would be seen as like Agile moves. So them comboed with Thunderbolt would make it like an Agile Style move instead of Legends Arceus where you just click like Agile or, or whatnot. And then goes on to say, uh, move will keep the typing of the primary attack and the damage output slash priority will increase slash decrease depending on the move it's combined with while retaining the effects of both moves. That would really shake up everything and I would really, really like to see that. That'd actually be really cool because there'd just be like loads and loads of combos. There might be too many combos, but unless there's like a selected amount or something like that. Uh, one of the Kalos starters are given to you by Team Flare to help with your construction duties. So that would obviously be Froakie, uh, Chespin or uh, Fennekin. Uh, all three get a Mega Evolution, so Mega Chestnut turns into a Grass Steel uh, type and gains a Metal Shell alongside a Grass Sword and a Shield as a red tuft of hair on his head which resembles a Knight's Helmet. And then Mega Delphox turns into a Fire Ghost type and goes from being themed after, uh, after a Mage to a Witch 
which is uh, which she has fur with a hat and she rides what used to be her wand, which is now a fire broom. That sounds like a really cool design. And the Mega Greninja turns into a water poison and is now extremely fat with the white foam and his uh, pre-evolutions once again covering his neck. Uh, although now a brownish color, he produces poisonous foam and bubbles from his belly and releases them through his mouth, which is uh, perpetually open. So uh, yeah, they are apparently the new Mega Evolutions for the starters in Pokemon Legends EA. You meet Zygarde early on in his dog form, so obviously the 10%, 25%, whatever it is, he will be your primary ride Pokemon and companion. So I do quite like that idea, but I also like the idea of Zygarde being like the evil legendary in this game where you have to like battle him at the very, very end. I just, I think I'd prefer that than just being a ride companion. Like obviously ride companion Pokemon, you'd like to think are gonna be in the game because we had them in Legends Arceus, but at the same time, I don't really want it to be Zygarde. Even though I guess you could like upgrade Zygarde and stuff, but then as soon as you probably collect more cells, which I think are going to be a thing in this game, then Zygarde would transform into the 50% form and then you probably wouldn't be able to ride it anymore. So yeah, I, I don't know about that one. And then cores which unlock new forms will be unlocked as the story goes on. Uh, white cells will be, uh, while cells will be scattered throughout Lumios and enable Zygarde to learn new moves and aren't, uh, but aren't mandatory. So uh, yeah, and I, I still think you're going to be able to collect the cells and stuff but i think that's just gonna be like another part of the story i, d I don't think zygarde's gonna be one of the ride pokemon it makes sense but also at the same time it's a very small dog you know it's not like a massive weird ear or something like that so i highly doubt that yeah zygarde is gonna be the kind of um ride pokemon in this game but i, I do quite like the idea of this rumor to be fair i don't think it's true um but I, I do like the idea of the whole battle system and everything like that it looks really that sounds really good and looks really really cool as well but Either way, do not think it's going to be true. But that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It does really, really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on everything that we covered in today's video. What are your thoughts on this here? Do you think this is something to do with the next, like, uh, kind of building thing for Legend ZA? And also, do you think this could be, like, a little bit of a hint towards the starter Pokemon potentially being the Gen 6 stars? Uh, and also, let me know your thoughts on this as well. Do you think we're going to get a third Legends game after this? And as well as that, let me know your thoughts on whether you think the Legends EA is going to be based in the future or the past. Uh, and then as well as that, what are your thoughts on the whole Ash situation as well? But yeah, and also this rumor. But that's everything from me. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.